So here's a practice question where A plus B produces C. The following data was collected for the reaction above, carried out at a particular temperature. So we have three experiments with an initial concentration of both A and B, and the initial rate of formation of the product C. So first of all, what is the rate law expression for the reaction? And then once we know that, calculate the value of the rate constant K with correct units. So let's first find the rate law expression. And I'm gonna do that first by finding the reaction order with respect to A. And the reason I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna use experiment one and two to do that. It's the easiest one to do, because in this case, the concentration of B is held constant. So I can just find the ratio of the rates to the concentration of A and find the reaction order with respect to A. So let's see, I have the concentration 0.30, over 0 0.20 and the rate 7.5 times 10 to the minus 6 molarity per second 5.0 times 10 to the minus 6 molarity per second okay so on the left here I get 1.5 on the right here I get 1.5 so if I increase the concentration one and a half times then the rate increases one and a half times we would call that first order so first order with respect to A. Now, a little trickier to do this with respect to B because there isn't a time when the concentration of A is held constant. So we have to do this a little bit longer, more roundabout way, and that's okay, where we say that we can still just do a ratio of the rates. And I am going to choose uh, experiment two and three to find the reaction order with respect to B. And that's because I can see a change in the concentration for B here, it's doubling. So remember that the rate, uh, so four times 10 to the minus five is equal to K times the concentration of the first reactant A, which here is 0.4 and the reaction order is one there, times the concentration of the second reactant B, which is 0 0.20, and I don't know my reaction order there. Let's set up a proportion of that um, rate law to the rate law for a second experiment. So we have 7.5 times 10 to the minus sixth equals K times 0 0.30, Again, it's first order with respect to A times 0 0.10 to some power X. Okay, so I've got a proportion of two rate laws here. All right, so the K is the same for both experiments carried out since they're carried out at the same temperature. Okay, so on the left here, I get a four well, on the right, I do some algebra with all of this here, and I get 2 to the power of x, which means that x must equal 2. So this reaction is second order with respect to b. Okay, so I'm going to go back. And remember, I'm first order with respect to a, second order with respect to b, and I'm going to write my rate law expression where the rate is equal to k a b to the second power then calculate the value of the rate constant k with correct units so k is equal to the rate divided by concentration of a concentration of b squared we can pick whatever experiment we want. I just went with experiment one. So five times 10 to the minus six molarity per second over A is 0.2 and B is 0.1 squared. And of course this is molarity times molarity. So we get a K 0 0.0025 that would be molarity to the minus two seconds to the minus one. Okay, 
And just to verify, I'll pull the answer tab here for you to see the rate law and the value of k.